Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be discussing about RAG application, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is an AI framework that takes into picture like vector databases and AI model to generate factual answers from a knowledge base. So what we'll do here is we'll have our vector database, we'll have our AI model, we'll integrate both and then we'll use something called as Langchain Framework to generate answers to the factual questions. So with that what we'll do is first we'll uh, install all the required packages. So here we have Langchain, Torch, Transformers, all these are model required. Here we have data set, then there is Vector Database. So here we import the packages. Uh, here we have Hugging Face dataset loader because our dataset is taken from Hugging Face. Then we have recursive character splitter for chunking our input uh, text. And then we have Hugging Face embeddings, turning our text into embeddings into numeric form in simple terms. And then we have face which is a vector store where we'll be storing all our vector embeddings into vector store. And then we have the transformer auto tokenizer model and pipeline. This is question answering model. And then we'll have Langchain import. Uh, this is the pipeline for creating the hugging face pipeline. And then we have chain. This is retrieval QA. This will be helping us in what chatting with our particular knowledge base. Okay, we'll first import this and here what we'll do is we'll import the data set and we require specific column which is the context column. So I also would recommend going checking out this particular data set to understand what this data, data set represents, right? And then we have a hugging face data set loader where we pass in the data set name and the column that is required and then we load the data. So once the data is loaded, okay, we have we are seeing currently two entries here, and uh, first entry is about some words in Australia is uh, airlines, and second one is a question. It's a classification category, okay, uh, if, which is a species of fish, top or rope responses to. So this is a not a. It doesn't have any context. It is what is a special species of a fish. Then you get some response. That's it. So this is uh, this is classification task and if you go to this one first question which is first document we'll see that is a closed QA. So closed QA is uh, you will have within the context you will have your answer. So once uh, we have loaded our data set uh, what we'll do is we'll turn uh, some of the data points which is huge in chunk more than thousand characters we'll turn that into, uh, using text splitter, we'll turn that into smaller chunks, a huge context into smaller context of 1000 characters and 150 characters will be overlapping between the particular chunks. So once that is done, uh, we'll be loading a language model. In this case, we are loading mini language model, which is L6V2 from sentence transformer and we are also this is the model which is used for generating the embedding so this is for this will be stored this will be helpful in generating the embedding and then this will be stored into those embeddings will be stored into vector store so here what we are passing is first is model path on which it has to run and then there are some parameters for this particular model which is if you want to normalize the embeddings or not so those are passed to this particular hugging face embeddings class and then we generate the, we define embeddings here. So since we have done that, here is a text, uh, this is a text document. This is a particular context, consider this as a context and we want to generate an embedding for this particular document. So this is the first three uh, values of that particular embedding for this particular document. This is a test document. Now what we do is, this is for one, okay, now we have a fair start from documents, we'll pass all the documents on the embedding which we have uh, defined here and we'll generate a DB of vector, uh, vector store, yeah, vector embeddings are stored. So this may take some time because there are like 15,000 documents, so based on that it will take some time. In some cases it even goes to what, even 5 minutes or more. 
so since i am using uh, gpu right it took around 14 seconds and if i what turn this into cpu this will take around 5 minutes almost 5 minutes so once this db is present then we can look at different uh, options that is available that we can add to this particular db or fetch from the db okay. let me run this so this is giving the information what is the model we are using and uh, what are the uh, what parameters we have passed that is coda normalized embedding is false uh, multi process false show progress is false so these are the information related to the embedding models now since we have a now uh, we have a vector store with vector embeddings we can go do go and do a search or similarity search using that vector store db what we can do is we can pass in a question like what is cheese making and db dot similarity search will and then we'll pass this question so under the hood what will happen is this question will be turned into an uh, embedding using this particular uh, model again face embeddings uh, model which is all mini lm l6 v2 and the embeddings will go and search with the vector db and then we'll get our result so what is cheese making and this is what we got through the similarity search now what we'll do is uh, we'll try to use a language model not a language model a question answer model which is from intel dynamic tiny bird so we'll use that and then the corresponding uh, tokenizer for this model which is dynamic tiny bird there is a tokenizer that is required so we'll take that as well here here we are passing that model name okay and then we'll turn this into an hugging face pipeline this is a question answering kind of a task and the model name is dynamic tiny bird dynamic tiny bird which is a question answer model and the tokenizer is again a uh, tiny bird and then return the tensor in pt format now this is in turn is passed to this particular hugging face pipeline so along with some specific arguments temperature and max length so let us run this okay so now we have an llm uh, which we have defined it which will be taking dynamic tiny bird and which if any input is passed to this particular llm it will do tokenization followed by uh, question answer kind of task can be managed by this particular llm okay now what we'll do is uh, we have a retriever here uh, db we have and we turn that into a retriever okay so this will help us in what uh, extracting or bringing up uh, relevant uh, documents for us this db will turn into a retriever okay so here we have our retriever object and then get relevant documents so this is one of the function for the retriever okay where we are passing what is machine learning and this should uh, fetch the relevant document based on this particular input so machine learning is a field of inquiry devoted to understanding and building methods that learn that is methods that leverage data to improve performance performance on some set of tasks now uh, next what we have is we have created a retriever object earlier though so same thing here only thing we are making changes is we are passing a parameter we need only top four relevant documents okay so with that what we'll do is uh, we'll have something called as retrieval qa from chain type so here we try to combine okay from chain type what we do is we pass in llm we also pass in the retriever which is our vector store okay and then we the chain type is refined it will refine the results of our particular uh, query whatever we want to search okay and we'll get our results so we are passing here and we create a qa object now we have a question okay who is thomas jefferson qa dot run and we pass in the query what it will do is in the back end it will generate the embeddings it will search okay it will search through the uh, relevant documents from the vector db and also the context will be understood by the large language model and then we'll get the refined result if i run this what will happen is there is a bug with respect to langchain so we'll see the langchain bug along with that we'll also see our information which is the context which we passed so 
we passed who is Thomas Jefferson. We got an error which is a bug from length chain. But we'll also get the resolution for this particular query. So Thomas Jefferson is a uh, American main statesman, diplomat, lawyer, architect. Okay, and this is the uh, specific uh, relevant information for the question which we have asked. So uh, with this right, uh, what we have understood is we are able to uh, uh, turn our application or build an application which uses vector database along with the large language model to retrieve uh, information from uh, database of external knowledge source. Okay. So with this, I hope uh, you understood how to use RAG or what are the components that are required to build a RAG application. With this, I'll conclude this video. Thank you so much.